If you are a podiatric medical student curious about externships, this video is for you. Externships typically begin during your fourth year of medical school and are one to three month long rotations. You will get hands-on experience, get a feel for the program, and showcase yourself. Depending on your program, the quest to find a place that is formidable for residency placement is between the months of January to May. Yes, this does mean that some schools offer more externship opportunities than others. However, the process starts much before this. At the start of your third year, you must select externship programs available in the Central Application Services for Podiatric Residencies on the American Association of Colleges of Podiatric Medicine website. 220 programs are available to select from, and this changes from year to year. At this time, you should start asking for letters of recommendation, updating your CV, and beginning a personal statement. Students are left with numerous decisions, questions, and the pioneer experience of traveling far and wide, returning home, or staying close by for personal, financial, or family reasons. In addition, the variation between each externship plays a critical role. There are podiatric medical surgeon residencies, and reconstructive rear foot residencies. The PMSR programs are slowly dwindling as this type of residency does not allow you to gain experience with rear foot procedures and is typically not sought after. The addition of RRA is becoming the mainstay in training as it provides a full scope. Considerations for selecting a residency program in the United States extend beyond mere location. Work life and balance are vital. Financial perks within programs are often minimal, highlighting the need for advocating nationwide pay increases for residents, particularly in major metropolitan areas. While compensation is essential, the program's reputation is equally significant, shaping your future trajectory and skill development. Understanding the attending physician certifications, such as APFAS or ABPM, the program's focus, whether it be research, trauma, forefoot, amputation, wound salvage, clinical responsibilities, call schedules, paid time off, hiring outlook, and potential involvement with the Department of Veteran Affairs are crucial aspects to assess early on. While firsthand experience during program visits offer invaluable insights, considering these factors from the outset is paramount. Be sure to explore our program evaluations and reviews for further guidance. After selecting your preferred externship spots for a specific month, you'll need to await acceptance from the programs. Acceptance hinges on various factors such as the number of applicants vying for the spot, GPA, and CV quality. It's wise to have a backup list in case your top choices aren't available for that particular month. Once your externships for the following year are confirmed, you can start planning for travel, cost of living, and perhaps even some leisure time. After finishing up your third year, you will begin the one-month rotations selected with the additional senior medicine rotations designated by your school. You should have between six to eight residency programs that you selected to rotate through for the year. During rotations, you'll engage in a variety of activities, including workups, assisting residents, rounding, presenting topics, participating in journal clubs, and being involved in surgical cases. This isn't just about showcasing your skills, it's also an opportunity to envision yourself within the program. While it may feel daunting, remember that you're also evaluating the program to see if it's the right fit for you. Stay professional, work diligently, and actively participate. Programs aren't seeking perfection, they want individuals who are committed and caring, who they can envision as part of their team for the next three years. Don't be too hard on yourself if you stumble on a question or need assistance. This is a learning experience and it's okay to seek guidance when needed. Strive for independence, but don't hesitate to ask for help when necessary and always be genuine in your approach. As you complete several rotations, you'll gain an understanding of your expectations and preferences for each program with a newfound confidence. Remember, no two programs operate identically, so it's crucial to take notes about each experience. With so much information to absorb, maintaining organized notes will ensure you have a solid foundation for interviews later in the year. To secure interviews, you will need to submit a list through the Centralized Residency Interview Program, though not all programs participate in the system. If a desired program isn't a part of CRIP, you'll typically meet with them separately after the CRIP process. It's important to note that simply submitting a list doesn't guarantee an interview slot, as spots are limited. If you're keen on a particular program, express your interest before the interview list is finalized. These processes usually occur in September and October. 
with CRIP typically taking place in December before you take your APMLE Part 2 examination. The CRIP interview process is comprehensive, encompassing social interactions, rapid fire questioning, and interviews. It's crucial to present yourself professionally during the stage and express your interest in the program before the final rankings. The match system operates similarly to Sorority Rush, where students and programs submit preferential ranks. You only match with a program you've ranked and after matching, changes aren't possible. If a program or student doesn't match initially, they enter a second round where unfilled spots for both students and programs are listed. This process repeats in rounds as necessary. With all that being said, podiatry has a high annual match rate of about 98%. Podiatrist to be is a valuable resource for identifying programs nationwide, offering review-based insights from past and current externs. They also provide an externship guide and reflection journal, mock interviews, CV and personal statement edits, and the APMLE Part 2 practice exam. While the residency application process is challenging, costly, and time consuming, it's also an unforgettable experience. Preparation is key, but remember to enjoy exploring different programs and building relationships with attendings, residents, and fellow externs. They'll become your future colleagues offering support and guidance throughout your career. For all future inquiries, you can find us at any of the links below. Podiatrist to Be is a new program that is looking to advocate for podiatrists at all levels. We are a growing community and we appreciate any follow, like, or share to get our word out. Thank you for watching and best of luck out there.